Hi, I'm Priyanka and you're watching Britasia TV. Today I'll be speaking with the cast and director of Cake, but before we can whet your appetite, a few introductions. Hi, I'm Asim Abbasi, I'm the director of Cake. Hi, I'm Amna Sheikh and I'm uh, playing uh, one of the characters in Cake. The character name is Zareen. Hi, I'm Sanam and I play the character of Zara. Hi, uh, I'm Adnan Malik and I play the character of Romeo. Hello, I'm Biorana Zafar and I play the character of Amma. I'm the mother to Zareen and Zara and another character who's not here right now called Zen. So guys, you've traversed all of England for the UK leg of your press tour from London to Leeds to Manchester, finally Birmingham. What's taking you so long? <laughs> What's taking us so long? <laughs> what is, uh, no, we've just been here for what? How many days? Six days. Yeah, we're doing one day each. So London, obviously, we spent a couple more days in. Um, we had a world premiere there on the 13th. Uh, and then we did a region screening. So this is our last stop. And we head back to London tonight. Yeah. Okay, obviously you had the premiere in the UK in London first in one of the most iconic of all places to hold a screening. How was that received? How did you feel about it? Uh, it felt great and we had some great, great responses from people who watched the film, so very happy. And um, it's great projecting this film, which is a Pakistani film on a, on a world scale, uh, as, a, as a world cinema film really, um, for people who are beyond just South Asian diaspora. So it, it was great. Cake is a film that has universal themes of family and uh, sibling relationships and aging parents and passage of time and it's something uh, that everyone can relate to and it being premiered as a first Pakistani film in a place like Leicester Square is uh, very apt I feel. Um, it's a great film to represent Pakistan and represent the global transitions that everyone's going through and the theme of family. Can you, can anyone tell me a little bit about Cake itself and why Cake as a title? How? <laughs> Who would like to explain the story? Why Cake as a title? Because, um, first of all, Cake we say in Urdu, in Hindi, Punjabi, Sindhi, it's kind of like a universal term. So that's why it's very apt. Um, and then uh, people who've seen the film now get it without us explaining it to them. They're like, ah, oh, we get it. There are many layers to emotions and personalities and relationship dynamics, just as a cake is very layered. Um, it takes many ingredients to make a delicious cake, just like it takes many personalities and interesting um, people to make uh, a family. And that's why we call it cake. It's something else on the inside, something the facade is something else. Mm -hmm. uh, we always put up a front as people to the outside world but actually inside when you take a personal look into a family life it's very intimate and crazy and mad um, and that's what we've shown in this film. Because there's quite a lot of emotions played um, through, you know, throughout all of your roles what were some of the biggest challenges you faced when acting those out? I mean I can talk a little about the process I think uh, um, Asim kind of handpicked the cast and uh, a lot of it was, I think, based on um, just sort of how open we could be as people. And I think he really worked on, um, uh, you know, so we had things like therapy sessions. We had ways of kind of like scavenging our own past to uh, figure out what our trigger points are and then work with those. So I think it was really about building a trust and a, and a really safe dynamic amongst all of us because there is a huge range of emotions. And authenticity was always very important to him. And, and authenticity can be... It can it can be the it might seem like the wrong emotion for the wrong scene, but if it felt authentic, he would always be like, "Okay, go ahead. Uh, that sounds that feels okay to me." So uh, it was a really uh, wonderful process in terms of just us uh, figuring ourselves out. Something special. Asim, Adnan mentioned that he uh, well, you handpicked the cast for this role. Were there anything particular about the actors themselves that you knew would be able to portray the characters that you wanted to get across? for the characters? Um, I think m more than anything, it was just a gut instinct, mm -hmm. yeah, especially in the case of Romeo. It was just something just felt right and felt right in my head and my heart. And I, you know, I kind of knew it. And Amna and Sanam, like everyone knows, are, are phenomenal actors. And, and this, needed, this needed to stand on the performance of those two females. So um, yeah, I lucked out with my actors. And Beo Aunty was, as I say, fate. Um, uh, uh, interesting story with Beyonce. She came on the project a day before we were going into shooting because the lady who was supposed to uh, play the role fell ill. Um, so I called Beyonce. She read the script. 
we had a little chat she said when do you want me i said oh, she lives in london so she flew in the next morning and uh, i mean like i i just we don't know how anyone else could have done her beaver the way she's done it so it's just sometimes the other forces working to just bring things together as well and i think we we were lucky with that um the narrative you know obviously um depicts the beauty of pakistan and also some of the more um intimate domestic aspects of family life and how important do you think that it is for the younger generation to be in touch with their culture and also their own families as well what do you think it is about the film that helps them reflect on their own um, experiences i think it's because uh, everything is just so uh, hopefully done in such a naturalistic manner that it all becomes relatable so i think in one character or two characters something you will see a glimpse of your own life and you will see a glimpse of your even if your dynamics is slightly different i think there is something inside each of those characters that you can relate to and i think that's the most important thing again it's not a you know it's not a preachy film it's not a film that tells the youth to be certain way or to love their parents or what it just shows you a slice of life and i if i think if that makes people think that oh wow i miss my parents i should call them i think that's like our job done you know when we were going to promote the film and we went to um a level schools we were thinking i don't know if like 15 16 year olds would uh kind of get this film right now maybe an an older crowd but um then we realized it's really interesting because this that age was the time for kids to maybe watch this film so that you don't have any regret when watching it thinking i wish i had balanced my time or thinking i should instead you're watching it thinking okay i need to keep that in mind when i go off to college or when i go off to do something how i'm going to balance it before i even get there do you know what i mean like some kind of um um forward think foresight kind of into what they would do later so i think uh, your question regarding how does it help the youth um i think it just gives them a little a different perspective because uh, we're not really taught that or reminded of that we we're just we kind of go with the flow of things you go to school you grow up you go to college and then you leave the nest and then you come back however you come back or not um so i think this just gives a little foresight into what it would be like yeah. Yeah yeah I mean it it's it's not a message I don't think Asim is uh, giving any message in the film it is what it is and it's about choices about people who leave home they have the wanderlust and they go and some don't some can't and have to stay and face the responsibilities and they have different set of price prices to pay and those who leave have a different set of prices to pay i th- i think this is a kind of peep into a bit of both the, the girl that the sister that stays behind looking after the older parents and all facing whatever she has to and the two that aren't there who really don't know the ground reality so um it's it's both the choices in the film and people can see it and make their own minds up really it's important to say that it's it's not a preachy film at all um and there's not at all any kind of feeling that one stance is right and the other is wrong mm-hmm. it's all very gray and it's really about choices and whatever uh, like beo said the what you're willing to put up with the price you're willing to put up with okay now you all have a very interesting dynamic as a family in the film what was your relationship like off camera any secrets <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no i think uh, there is a serious there was a serious amount of uh, unity on this production um because um as i said there was there's no conflict as to the guidance that was given to us to perform first of all and the nature of the production which was very precise and very well uh, pre-produced so we didn't run into any um, obstacles along the way it was all paved for us the routes were all set so number one you know that frustration wasn't there so we weren't responding irritably to that which happens a lot on productions when the pre production is not really is not prepped out and the actors bear the brunt of it so it was easy number 2 with the with the person like asim i'm sorry people are saying it's too much about asim but for me it's really quite all about asim uh he had when you're so deeply connected or uh committed to a project it just falls out on the rest of us as the same so when you're all committed there's really nothing to squabble about and then of course i take credit for the fact that i was den mom <laughs> and i kept a lo- kept the love going and they're all like my bachas including asim that i have to subserve to him sir sir ji director ji but he is there all the cast uh, the cast and crew apart from myself and mohammad ahmed saab were all young like 30s mein 
And so we were like the parents, even the rest of, of the crew was young. So it's a very young uh, production. We've all kind of worked before together. So we've all had uh, Adnan and I worked together. Amna and Adnan have worked together. Amna and myself have worked together. Mm -hmm. So over the years, we've all kind of um, been work friends. And so coming together in this production was, uh, there was a huge sense of familiarity off and on camera. Uh, so Asim, the love for you is clearly palpable <laughs> in this room. There's a lot of reverence and I am interested to know about your passion for filmmaking and directing because I understand that you were an investment banker after graduating from London School of Economics. How did that come Can about? I say before, I don't know why he always gives attention to the director. I mean, the beauty of this film is the script. So he always forgets to say that he's the writer of this film too. And so there's a passion for writing and all that yeah. also. Ah, credit to the screenplay as well. <laughs> yeah, so how did it come about? Um, ooh, okay. So basically, I've wanted to do films for the longest time. Um, but... I think when we were graduating, there wasn't, at least for me, there wasn't a concept of becoming a filmmaker. There, it just wasn't the done thing. And I was good in economics and stuff, so I went to LSE. I did banking for 10 years. It was good money. In your 20s, you're getting paid well, so you just keep doing it. But I think after a while, I think I turned 30, and I was like, I just can't do this anymore. I uh, need to feed my soul and cannot just keep, you know, earning money. And I think that I think that's actually what's driven me to do the kind of projects that I want to do. I think um, had I not gone through that experience or had I not, I think probably I would be just doing it, approaching it like many other filmmakers do, perhaps. Um, so that was that. And but the passion was always there. I remember the first very bad script I wrote was like when I was banking so I would work 18 hours a day and I would come and then I would probably spend an hour every night just writing and then I would spend the weekends writing it so I, there was a year of my life that I didn't like kind of go out it was just banking and then writing and banking so but then I dropped it over over time and then I came back to it after I left banking and then I wrote a bunch of scripts just this this one stuck somehow got financing and got made so well, I suppose your investment into filmmaking, you know, is obviously, you know, proven to be absolutely, um, you know, prolific g given the London premiere in Leicester Square. So, you know, just to wrap up, I just want to find out if you're working on any projects uh, for the near future or if um, we're allowed to know what you're working on at the moment. I don't have anything yet. Uh, hopefully I will do another film soon, but uh, it just depends how cake pans out. I think our focus is so on cake right now and how the next two months go. Uh, the process of cake has really kind of spoiled all of us and um, we're practiced actors in uh, Pakistan. We do a lot of TV. Speak for Sanam and myself and Adnan once in a while. Adnan is a very successful commercial director back home. And so um, TV dramas have their own kind of, it's, it's another grind altogether, um, another pace. So when a film like Cake comes along, we're like, wow, okay, this totally, we unlearned everything, we relearned things in a different way, where do we go from here? So if you ask all of us, I think all of us are in that uh, in transit kind of weird space, trying to figure it out. Yeah. You, you know, you can all add to that as well if you're working on anything in particular. Well, and I think uh, just to mirror what Amna says, but I think we're all really excited to see how Cake pans out. I think there's a lot of love that's gone into it. It's a unique film from a Pakistani perspective. I think people have been seeing a lot of derivative Bollywood stuff come out. This is a film where uh, Asim's taken a risk. The producers have taken a risk. Um, but we've got, you know, a strong sort of distribution team. There seems like there's good hype. I just want to say a message for the audience who was viewing this that uh, do not come uh, to see this film with an idea that is going to be instant gratification and sensation and all that. This is a film you have to see very carefully and your brain has to be focused and, and you will not then miss the nuances and the subtleties. This is a very subtle, carefully made film. A lot of labor of love really has gone into it and commitment. So... I, I mean, I see it every single time. Asim says, I'm going to see it again. And I said, I wouldn't miss it. And every single time I see it, I see things that I didn't see the time before. So if it's happening to me, uh, this is the message I really want to give. Okay, perfect. Well, that was just a small smackerel of what you can expect from the film that's releasing on the 29th of March this month. So make sure you get your tickets ahead of the first public screening in the West Midlands. That's all from Priyang Cake. Thank you. <laughs>